Well, I think um, the fans want to know what's next for Kai Green. Well, bodybuilding is, is, is one of the tools, one of the resources that I was able to tap into to help me understand a lot of these universal concepts that are truths. That That's right. Blah, 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 blah. Macbeth, freaking Othello, Shakespeare all day and every day. Pretty much, this is what I retrieve from me asking and trying to communicate with the very being named Kai Green. So for all intents and purposes, I don't know if this guy will step in in Olympia, quite frankly. So let's just forget about him. He is discarding himself as far as I see it. Let's go back to the Mr. Olympia himself. Phil Heath, the dominator, back. Look at the most muscular poses. So these are the strongholds of Phil Heath. He dominates everybody from these poses. Look at the crap pose, take home pose. He was very strong from the get go in the most muscular poses. So all and for all, he is untouchable from the back, most muscular pose, exhibit A. He smoked a uh, medium Rami last year and I made this photo collage on my social media. It became kind of famous because in my opinion, these are the strength. Nobody can destabilize the very dominion of Phil Heath. However, is he perfect? Is he unbeatable? I beg to defer. Front double biceps definitely the progression year after year it became definitely less loyal even next to a youngster like dallas mccarver is definitely weak these guys have chances i think that dexter is better than him and certainly big Ramy smokes him i mean look at the difference at the evolution throughout the years it is not getting any better same goes with another weak points front last spread getting not saluted year after year Exhibit A last year, the worst one ever. Look at that. Definitely not proper. Just not good. And in this sense, Big Grammy will smoke him. That's a hole right there. That's a hole right there. Again, look at the difference. Last pet, I don't see the last Mr. Phil Heath with all due respect. Big Grammy, it's more than Dorian-esque. And when he turns around, the gut is getting not loyal year after year. Granted, another weak point. Abs and thighs. Definitely not saluted by all measures. Weak, weak point. It is not a static, Mr. Mr. Olympia. So that's a hole being opened to Big Ramy, to Flexitron, Sean Roden, definitely better, and certainly Dexter Jackson. So there you have it, boys and girls. Although Phil Heath is exceedingly dominating in his stronghold of the poses, the back, the most muscular pose, and so on and so forth, he seems so dominant, he will kill everybody from there. However, weak points he does have. Front double biceps, absolutely not saluted. I think everybody in the top four is better than him. And when he tries to spread these lats, not loyal, it's oil. Big Grammy all day and every day. Dexter smokes him and so does Flexitron. And I'm sorry, the bubblegut bonanza is not loyal, was never loyal. It's getting worse year after year, just like we have seen in the case of Jay Cutler. So everybody again in the top five is just better than him. These are holes in the game of Mr. Olympia. I did not speak about the side poses, side chest and side triceps on purpose because I think it's a fair game. It's open for everybody. These guys are all close in these poses. That's what's up. So there you have it. Phil Heath is very dominant. He is a very great champion. Is he invincible though? I don't think so.